Okay, so for this one, you just had to type this equation in and you got this table. Okay, now some of you may have had different numbers, but you want to make sure that you have the vertex. So on the graph that you typed in, you had x squared minus 1. Okay, uh, when you look at the graph, you see how the graph is changing when x equals 0. So that tells you to pick those points around where x equals 0. You need the vertex of the graph. Then, once you get those points, you get the inverse table, which I highlighted, by switching x and y. So negative 2, 3 is now 3, negative 2. And you do that all the way down the table. 2, 3, 3, 2. Then, you graph this one. I did it in pencil, right there. Then you graph this one. And I did it in a highlighter. Make sure you label it. So this is f of x, and this is f negative 1 of x. That's the label with our graph. Now, if I want to state the domain of f of x, it is going to negative infinity to the left and positive infinity to the right. So negative infinity to positive infinity. The range of f of x, the lowest value it can be, is negative 1. And then all the values for y are greater than negative 1. The domain of f of x, okay, domain is x, and if you look, here it is, here's x, and all these values are greater than or equal to negative 1, and if you notice, these two switch, the domain and the range for these two, and the domain and the range switches. Okay, or you could look at the graph and say, well, this is going to negative infinity, y all the way up to positive infinity. Is the inverse a function? If you look at this, okay, and we can do the vertical line test this time. The yellow highlighted part fails the vertical line test. So is it a function? No, because the domain repeats. If you do the horizontal line test on the function, it touches it twice. So the inverse is not a function.